these kind of projects right here, there's a lot of pain and suffering involved with them. Don't tear up your tractor. Go 14 inches. I'm going to go right there. Tell you what, what is make the, the bench of it? 14. The seat part. Right there. I don't want like in the honey go 105. So this is 105 right here. Now I'm gonna mark it out on the same, the same on the other end. So this part right here will be removed. This thing's gonna look wicked because there's so much rotten wood. This log's been on the ground for three years. My brother-in-law's coming down from Michigan, bringing his family, and we're gonna sit around the campfire on this log bench. Looking forward to him getting here. And I'm gonna have to run this video 32X because Removing all this material just took a lot of effort. That's what I was referring to at the first uh, opening scene of this video.
all this just so I could go clean the outside of my uh, Yankee oak log or Yankee log bench, <clears throat> whatever we're going to call it. But since I got it in this vise, I might as well sharpen this side right here. And then we'll go remove that dead wood out there on the log, log bench. But all this just to get this handle, I should have done this long before today. It's, it really needs to be, the, the edge needs to be redeveloped. This thing is pitted bad. Probably laid and, and rusted for years. I think Camera Girl gave $10 for this at a antique store. So what I want to try to do is just move move this uh, rotten wood off of it. And this is the first time I've ever even had one of these in my hand. Basically all I'm doing here is just flattening the surface. Um, the chainsaw left it rough and we're using a sander on an angle grinder, that chisel, a sander, my blower, and just repeating the process over and over again until I get it down to what I think is good enough. A little task force grinder. It's so hot I can barely hold on to it, so I guess that's all I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is make a couple of legs to make it stable. Get it off the ground so the termites won't get into it. Although I haven't seen any termites in it. It's just been those worms, those boars. But that little chainsaw work I did through here improved it a little bit. There's not as many hiding places for bugs now. So I'm going to live with that. I tried to make it where the, it was like a gutter and water would run out the sides. So I'll make the legs out of cedar. It's resistant to termites. And then I'll uh, try to put some linseed oil on it. I don't know if I've got enough. It's going to take a lot. I need a gallon probably. Anyway, kind of liking the way it looks right now. We got this done for our Yankee brother, my Yankee brother-in-law, Jim. But I hope the lessons learned here is not to use a rotten log because this down there is real, it's like doty. This is solid right here. The middle of it's good and solid. But I can't say that I really love it, but I like it. Could have been better. Anyway, it looks good out here. So we'll, we'll drill these out and put our solar lights around. It's daytime. Yeah, I can't see you. Yeah, it's Is that you taking a video or you taking a yeah, picture? Yeah, video. I was trying to get the bench in there. Uh, Just wait till What do you think, Charlie? Is cool it a good bench? bench? It's a beautiful bench, isn't it? It's comfortable. <laughs> My end's comfortable. How's your end? <laughs> Yeah, that looks, that's gonna be right.